Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Solutions and my name is Abhishek and today I'm going to tell you how you can flash Lineage OS 15 based on Android Oreo on your Redmi Note 4. Let's get started. Download the files from the link given in the description. Later, connect the phone to the computer, copy them to your internal storage of your Redmi Note 4. Once you are done, use the power key to power off your phone. Once done, press the volume up key and the power button simultaneously and leave the power button once you see the Mi logo and then you will be moved to TWRP mode. Once you get into TWRP mode, go to backup, select as shown and backup your current ROM. Backuping is completely optional and you can proceed without this step too. It is only used in case anything goes wrong with your smartphone while flashing the ROM. After that, go back, hit install, navigate to the folder where you had copied the ROM file. Click on it and swipe to flash take around 3 to 4 minutes or maximum 5 minutes to get flashed. Hence, be patient. Just in case if you have forgotten, hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified every time we upload a new video. Later that, hit wipe Dalvik cache and swipe. Go back and navigate to the gapps package which we had copied earlier and swipe to flash. It will also take the same time as the ROM top. Later that, hit wipe and dial with cache and reboot the phone. The initial boot might take up to 10 minutes. So please be patient. And as you can see, we have booted up into Lineage OS 15. Let me just set up this device and get back to you. So, I have set up this device and as you can see, the fingerprint is working without any issues. The ROM seems to be smooth. Let me show you the about section. As you can see, we are running Lineage OS 15 based on Android Oreo. We also tested VOLTE that is voice over LTE on this ROM and it also seems to be working completely fine. We also tested the camera and it works without any results. Overall, the ROM seems to be smooth and can be used as a daily driver. I thank the developer for making this possible. That's all for the video guys, I hope you will like it. If you like this video then please do hit a like over there. If you have any kind of questions make sure to hit them in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you around. Bye bye now.